Young, stupid drivers die every day in this country. And I don't like that kid. Can you stop ignoring me? I'm not ignoring you. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Something about a child. Maybe should I take all someone? No, George. I'm tired of hiding. Just looking at those old pictures, huh? Yeah, those were some pretty good times. You are delusional. What's the matter with you? Yes, Darlene. I keep calling you. Did you get my message? <sighs> She's my baby, bro. I love her. Look at this. Oh, man. She cheers on this new one. Baby, I'm really sorry about it, okay? Go to your wife, George. Where are you going? I wanted to put this on your desk. It is like having me in general. Hey, it's Mister. I got a new car. How's life treating you? Is your husband next to you? But of course. Damn telemarketers. I'm not stupid, George. Stop treating me like one. What are you talking about? I'm dead serious. You need to get chemo and possibly surgery. And I can't even guarantee you would survive this. George, I'm in the bed every night alone, hoping that one day I'm going to be in the arms of my men. No, baby, it's not like that. You know, I just filed the papers for the divorce. Come on. Hi, Jim. I'm Helen. It's nice to finally meet you. That's my mother's apron. You should learn how to behave when there are guests in this house. You understand me? Okay? I hate being treated like this. I hate living here. And I hate you. He's too busy to deal with me anyway. Let's just go. All right, Tiger. Don't scare me now, all right? Take it easy. Dad, are you listening to me? Can I just get some money? And what does this place have to do with mom? You been drinking today? Who, me? Yes, water. Water? Absolute water. <laughs> Seriously, you going to the cemetery again? I think you need to pick a new hobby. 